Hey guys, I'm going to talk about Record Store Day. I'm not really a fan of Record Store Day, but this year I noticed what's going to be available and this is the best Record Store Day I've ever seen. And Record Store Day is uh, April 22nd, Saturday, so that's coming up next week. And I pulled out what I think are some of the best titles for Record Store Day that you could buy and at pretty good prices. And I'm just going to go through, they're kind of random and... I'm just going to go through them in any particular way. Obviously, I pick things that are more tailored to my tastes, what I think are the best titles, but without a doubt, best record store day ever. And available on Saturday, April 22nd, will be uh, Can't Stand the Rizillos, 1977, kind of punk rock, new wave British band, uh, a male and a female singer, Faye Fife and Eugene Reynolds, and it's I guess kind of sounds like a B-52s, but without a lot of the camp. But it's really fun, really happy, and rocking. And it's it's a great record. In a sleeve, cool in a sleeve, really fun record. And it's going to be available for about $20, $25, $30. 1978 Sire Records. For under $10, you could get one of the best hard rock, American hard rock albums of the 70s. And it's Aerosmith Rocks. Pretty much agreed on Aerosmith's best record. And it's from, what, 70, 76. Back in the Saddle, Last Child, Rats in the Cellar. Ten star record, ten star hard rock record. Every track is great on this. And it's going to be available for under $10. Oh, I like how Record Store Day is uh, having uh, female artists available. Really uh, great records. This is Marianne Faithful's... Uh, Broken English from 1979. She's much more weathered and uh, rough voice, but Broken English, killer title track. She does uh, John Lennon's Working Class Hero and the, and the classic Why'd You Do It, which is just a uh, very graphic song, but, but real heartfelt album by Marianne Faithful from 1979. And this, I believe, is going to be under $10. Awesome, awesome record. I like when Record Store Day issues like uh, more of the obscure albums instead of just the big hits again over and over and picture this and whatever, but they're going to release Alice Cooper 80, The Flush to Fashion. This is during Alice Cooper's like kind of drug phase, uh, and it's also his new wave album, and it's kind of a forgotten record, but uh, it's really an interesting record, and he, he covers uh, the music machine Talk Talk, and he's got a killer song called Clones, We're All... But there's, there's a, Aspirin Damage is good. It's, it's just a real period piece, but it's actually a quality record. And this was, I think, 1980. And luckily it's got lyrics in it, and it's going to be available for uh, about 10, under $20 for sure. And don't quote me on all these prices, but that's nice they're doing that. Special edition, I think there's only 40 available of this, but it's this special 10-inch. Uh, David Bowie, Don't Be Fooled by the Name, and it kind of has an 80s picture or a late 70s picture of Bowie, but it's actually his first three singles when he was David Bowie compiled the A and B sides on one 10-inch record, and this is limited to 40 people in the United States, and it can be had for a great record, st record store day price of under $10. You could get this for 6 bucks on Saturday the 22nd if you go to Discogs. And it's it's like his mod period. It's a little more soulish mod, 60s, great uh, early Bowie. And to get all three singles on one 10 inch for under $10. Classic blues album. I like how they do some great blues. And it's Sun House, what's it? Father of the Blues, the legendary Sun House. This is about a $20 record, be available on Record Store Day. Sun House, fantastic uh, guitar player. Uh, this is a wonderful record representation of him. Death Letter is fantastic by him. Uh, John the Revelator, one of my favorites. Preaching the Blues, Levy Camp Moan. Killer uh, uh, blues, old like Delta Blues, beaten open string, open tune guitar. And this is on uh, Stereo 360 Sound on Columbia Records. Should be available for about 20 bucks. Almost mandatory blues record. Classic rock record, but a forgotten about one. Or not forgotten, but what, kind of an underrated one. And it's Bad Company, uh, Burning Sky. I forget what year this is. 
1976 on Swan Song. Beautiful gatefold is going to be available. And it doesn't really have a lot of the bad company hits, but it's a really good record. Uh, Burning Sky. I really like uh, Everything I Need, like Water, Heartbeat, Peace of Mind. Uh, it, it's a great, great album with uh, Paul Rogers' top form. And this is available for under $10 on Record Store Day. Jazz fans, I like their uh, issuing uh, Charlie Christian record. Charlie Christian, a guitar player, played with Benny Goodman and cut some, uh, played with other cats too, but uh, Benny Goodman's small group, but probably one of the most important guitar players of the 20th century. And for the price of $4 to $8, you could get these fantastic sides. And I forget what he is, Smooth One, Airmail Special. Actually, I think they list them. Solo flight, some hot, hot, like almost bop style jazz guitar, mandatory for guitar players. But on uh, record store day, it should be available for about six bucks. Yeah, smooth one's great, but there's not a lot of recordings, but you get to hear some really great uh, jazz solo and guitar. Charlie Christian, who died, just to know, he died in 19. 42 so he didn't really have any albums just the sides he cut on 78s with people uh one of the greatest rock albums of all time will be available on record store day if you don't have this this should be your number one your number one buy i think for record store day and it's available for under ten dollars and it's cheap trick at budokan uh great live album this is actually the album that put them on the map it's a single live album but it does have a wonderful gatefold and it's got all the all the great songs when uh, from this era. Hello there, come on, come on, uh, ain't that a shame? I want you to want me, surrender. And this is under ten dollars. If you don't have, I mean, quit looking at the record store day list and go right for this one. Another reissue of a classic rock record that's probably under ten dollars is Deep Purple's Fireball. This is the classic lineup, the Mark II lineup. Gatefold also, and it's a wonderful Deep Purple record. Uh, Fireball, No, 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 Strange Kind of Woman, a lot of people might know. The Mule, Fools, wonderful record could be had for under $10. This is really the best record so they, another like, this one could probably be had for under $4, and it's Fog Hat, Night Shift. Not a great record, but uh, it's a fun record, and the song Driving Wheel is worth it for the, uh, the $4 record store day price. And what year is this, 77? I don't remember what year, 76. And it's on that Bearsville label. Yeah, Bearsville Records. Uh, this one's an obscure record. There'll be three available on Saturday. And it's one of my favorite records. I push this one a lot. It's almost more of a soundtrack record, but it's uh, Don Cavalli, Cryland. Definitely audiophile, all analog record and just fantastic guitar tones. Uh, it's singing on here on some of it, some of it's inst instrumental, but it's almost like a, a funky Sanford and Son blues meets uh, French troubadour, he's a Frenchman. It, but it's wonderful, audiophile record could be had for under $20, but there's only three copies available. One of my favorite records of all time. Just not best rock and roll record, it's not rock and roll, but just to sit down and listen to the sounds and the awesome guitar tones. This one's an obscure one, but it's another one of these great uh, $5 record store day records. I really like this record. I don't know if a lot of people do when I, when I play it for them, but uh, it's called Rag, the Ray Arnott group. And he was a drummer from, from Australia. And this is a, a rock record, like an 80s rock record. Came out in 1984. It's a lot like Tattoo You meets Rod Stewart, just a mid 80s rock record. This is not, it's not, not a killer record, not a 10 star record, but it's produced by Vander and Young. So the rhythm section, the bass drums has that ACDC production, but we got slide guitar and a couple ballads, but just like kind of meat and potatoes rock and roll. And our, this record after a third or fourth listen really grows on you. But for under $5, I highly recommend this record. Punk Rockers, great record. This one's going for about $25. And it's The Descendants Summary, which is actually a 2LP compilation of their career from their first EP in 1981 all the way up to their album in, I think, 1987. 
And so it compiles like, I don't know, six, seven albums. And it's a double album. This is like pop punk or pre-pop punk, like all that Green Day stuff. But these guys are doing it first or one of the first. And just real catchy uh, punk songs, but with the catchy choruses, fun, funny. And you got 28 tracks and it's going for about 20 to $30. It's really classic California punk. And it's very fun, it, you know, it's more mainstream. It's not aggressive or tough to listen to. I like how they're doing a lot, every year they do like Who Rare stuff. They're doing the Who's Missing, and this is under $10. Probably about a, a five or $6 record store day uh, release. And it's got, the, the, it's got a lot of unreleased stuff or things compiled, rare stuff, but it's got some early stuff, Shout and Shimmy from 1965, but the, the unreleased track that's worth it is Leaving Here, that cover of Leaving Here, 1965. It's uh, the old R&B tune that they cover, and it's classic. And I know the Birds, Ron Wood's band covered it, Motorhead, it became like a, a mod classic, but the Who doing it, they also have a Bob Ran with Keith Moon singing, if you haven't heard that, the first version of I'm a Boy, Marianne with the Shaky Hands original version, so it's like Who Rarities for going on sale somewhere around four to $10 on Record Store Day. So if you're looking for some extra Who stuff, that's where to go. Don't skip the live albums they're offering and do that. I see they're putting out the Big Nuggets box set, but for $15, instead of spending all that money on the Nuggets, where you probably have a lot of those tracks on the Nuggets LPs or the singles, whatever, but uh, Pebbles Volume 6 for $15, and this is the Mod Edition, and it's all English, uh, I think it's UK bands, there could be a couple of others, but it's all the Mod Freak Beat stuff. Uh, you got the Fairies, Get Yourself Home, Killer Track, um, Jason Eddy and the Sentiments, the Sentiments singing the blues, but it's a solid record. You got 19 songs, and its starting price is $15. Pebbles Volume 6, the British stuff, usually there. American Garage Rock. Uh, the Heavy Metal series, they're reissuing classic heavy metal records for under $20. And this is even if you're not a metal head, these are almost just classic rock and roll records. But Twisted Sisters, Stay Hungry from maybe 1985 or 84. And this is available from anywhere from $20 to $8. And it's just a fun record. It's a real timepiece of the mid 80s. Stay hungry. We're not going to take it, of course. But every track on here is a lot of fun. I Want to Rock, The Beast, Captain Howdy. Wonderful record. It has a in a sleeve. Lyrics in a sleeve. Under 15. And also a heavy metal series. Saxon's fourth album, I think it's the fourth album, Denim and Leather. And this is one of their better, their best, like they, they had three great ones. Uh, Wheels of Steel, um, we, I forget, the, I'm, I'm losing it now, but uh, Denim and Leather. Classic uh, New Wave of British Heavy Metal, Princess of the Night, Never Surrender. Really a 10 star record if you like heavy metal. And the band played on, and there it is, under $15. Hard Rock. Hard rock, heavy metal, blues based is Fastway's debut. Wonderful, very Zeppelin esque, just straight up hard rock from I think 86, uh, 83. Geez, I'm off. And it's Fast Eddie Clark from Motorhead and uh, Jerry Shirley from Humble Pie and had a young Irish singer, David King. But uh, this is a great record, 10 star record for the, the hard rock heavy metal genre. It's not 10 stars compared to Exile on Main Street or something, but 10 stars for hard rock heavy metal. I love this record, solid, solid songs, about $15. Here you go, you got a Power Pop classic, 2020's debut, and this is going for about six to, six to $10 on Record Store Day, absolute classic Power Pop, and 1979, Wonderful, catchy songs, 10-star record for Power Pop, 2020. Uh, Yellow Pills, Backyard Guys, two, two songs to check out, but this could be had. Now, I know he's a controversial fella, but uh, for about $6 on Record Store Day, you could get uh, the greatest hits of uh, Gary Glitter, the leader. And if you buy it off Discogs, none of the money goes to him because he's a bad, bad man. But you get every one of his good songs for under $10. Uh, 
Rock and Roll Part 1, of course. Rock and Roll Part 2. Baby, please don't go hello. Hello, I'm back again. Leader of the gang I am. Didn't know I love you. Tour. Saw your rock and roll. Do you want to touch me? Rock on. The cover of the David Essex track. But classic glam rock. This one's a little more money. This is going to be in the 20 to 30 or maybe even higher range. But one of the best reggae albums. And I was only turned on it. It's not that long ago. But I'm glad that the Congos, Heart of the Congos, will be available Recorded in Lee Perry's studio by Lee Perry. Absolute magical, fantastic record. And I don't want to say what's what you should own, but I would consider this a mandatory Jamaican record. If anyone wants to get into reggae, pass the Bob Marley. What a beautiful, beautiful record. And this is available on Record Store Day. If you want to go back to the 50s, gets confusing, a lot of singles and stuff, but Gene Vincent... Greatest hits, all analog, all mono, and it's got 10 songs from the classic Blue Caps lineup with Cliff Gallup on guitar. It's got his hit Bebop Alula, Race with the Devil, Woman Love. Every song on here is fantastic, but you don't have to go get the single albums or look for like all his albums to get a couple of tracks. You got 10 of the classic lineup and some of the best guitar playing in the 1950s, Who Slapped John, and this is, can be had for under ten dollars record store day classic new wave record uh another one under ten dollars gary newman the pleasure principal from 1979 fantastic new wave synth pop electronic it's got the hit the car cars on it but everything's on here metal complex this is a just a great great album of synth pop new wave and i'm glad this is going to be available on record store day this one's a little harder to get but this one may cost you $40 on Record Store Day, but it is The Brats. And they're a Danish band. And it's the two guitar players from Merciful Fate, Hank, uh, Hank Sherman and Michael Denner. And this is their punk rock band, but it's punk rock mixed with heavy metal. And this is a reissue on High Roller from Germany. It may be tricky to get, but it's got posters and paraphernalia. But what a catchy, wonderful record if you're into punk rock. This is up your alley. If you're into heavy metal, the guitar playing, the guys from Russell Fate. Killer record. Highly recommend it, but it's going to cost some money. But I'm glad this will be available on Record Store Day. Another one that's only available for one, one copy at a good price. It's an expensive, it's a rare record, but Blue Ash. No more, no less. And it's, uh, I forget what year this is, 73. And they're out of Youngstown, Ohio. And they're one of the early power pop bands they look like a some hard rock band but they're actually doing all two three minute power pop songs very beatles-esque uh just a, a wonderful record anytime at all great song this is this is this is a great power pop like 70s power pop record if you like the raspberries and if you like uh flaming groovies and stuff awesome record for new bands i'm glad to see that Dead Moon from uh, Seattle. This is their 2000 release, 2000, and it's called Trash and Burn. They put out a lot of records. They're now defunct. Fred Cole from the Lollipop Shop, the punk band The Rats, the, uh, I think he had a hard rock band called Zipper. There's a lot of bands, but great, like, noisy, rock and roll, grungy, like, 2000s rock or late 90s rock, but this will be available for about $20. So... You don't even need to see the other lists of all the other stuff, because I think this is uh, these are the choice things to find on Record Store Day. So I'm letting you know in advance, they will all be available. Discogs is the best way to go, but if you see them in the stores, they sometimes are cheaper, but I'm not gonna wait in any lines. And th this, is, this is the good stuff for Record Store Day, and it will be available. Cheers, everyone.